so starting with the name of almighty allah in this video we'll try to learn that how we can draw cassegrande plasticity chart in microsoft excel so automatic uh, graph of cassegrande plasticity chart can be used for the research purpose and for many other purposes as well while making the uh, geotechnical report you can also use this chart so sometimes you need to modify or edit this chart that is why you must learn that how we can draw such kind of plasticity chart in microsoft excel so that is what we will learn in this video so here you can see in Casagrande chart there are two lines one is u line and the second one is the a line then uh, correspondingly there are regions which indicate the soil types uh, corresponding to the liquid limit and plasticity index so to the details of this plasticity chart but we'll focus on that how we can draw such kind of graph in microsoft excel so for that purpose i need to draw three columns uh, in the first column i'll be writing liquid limit so here i'll be writing some hypothetical values of liquid limit starting from zero until hundred so i have these values of liquid limit over here now i need to find out the points for a line a line of plasticity chart so the equation is given over here so i'll be using this equation to determine the points of a line so as we know that the equation of a line is 0.73 multiply by liquid limit liquid limit minus liquid limit liquid limit minus 20 bracket close so i'll drag this formula into all the cells of this column to obtain the values or points corresponding to the a line now i need to find the points corresponding to the u line of Cassegrande chart. So the equation of U line is 0.9 into liquid limit minus 8. So I'll be applying the formula of 0.9 multiply by liquid limit minus 8. Yes, now the points corresponding to A line and U lines have been drawn. So basically, these are the points of plus index along the y axis. Now I need to draw the graph. <clears throat> I will go to insert, I'll be selecting this type of chart. Now right click and select data add here i'll be selecting the values along x-axis as we can see that uh, in the Cassegrande chart along the x-axis there are liquid limit values so i'll be selecting this column for x-axis and along the y-axis if i want to draw u line or a line then i will be selecting these points okay okay now add another select x-axis again x-axis values will be liquid limit values and the y-axis values will be u-line values okay now the lines corresponding to a-line and u-line have been drawn but now I need to make some changes in order to uh, make a graph exactly similar to Casagrande plasticity chart. So in plasticity chart, you can see that U line starts from almost eight uh, liquid limit and A line starts from 20 value of liquid limit. It means A line cannot give the value before uh, 20 of the liquid limit. So I'll be doing what in this case i'll set this value as zero or i'll have to delete this value 
now again now again i'll have to delete this value this value as well and now you can see the lines of a line and u line are exactly similar to to the graph of plastic plasticity chart but here you can see the maximum value of y axis along y axis is 60 and along the x axis the maximum value is 100 so now i need to modify the graph accordingly right click format axis here i'll be selecting 100 and here the major axis value will be 10 okay now along the y-axis I'll select the maximum value as 60 okay so the A line and U line are exactly similar to this chart now for further changes I'll have to show axis titles along the y-axis it is plasticity index along the x-axis here is liquid limit in percentage here you can see that plasticity case grande plasticity chart okay now I need to draw this line this line corresponding to 50 liquid limit so to draw to find some coordinates like here I'll be selecting 50 50 and 0 60 now I need to draw a straight line over here for that purpose I'll be adding another line add along x-axis i'll be selecting these two points and along y-axis i'll be selecting these two points so here you can see the line has been drawn over here exactly similar to the cassegrain plasticity chart now the graph has almost been completed a little change is left over here uh, for CLML as we know that uh, the soil with plasticity in as we know that uh, the soil with plasticity index between 4 to 7 and liquid limit uh, in between this range is known as CLML so I need to draw these two lines for that purpose I need to know the points uh, so along these x-axis so for that purpose what I will do is I'll be selecting again two different points here I'll be writing 4 4 as we know that the plasticity along the y-axis the range is between 4 and 7 so I'll be selecting these two points 4 4 7 7 now the next step is to find out the values corresponding to these points so for that purpose I need to know the uh, x-axis value corresponding to 4 pi value draw this region so for that purpose what I will do I need to determine the liquid limit corresponding to pi value of 4 how can I find out uh, this value as we know that the equation of a line that is pi is equals to 0 0.73 into liquid limit minus 20 here I know the pi value pi value is 4 and 7 I need to know the liquid limit corresponding liquid limit so I will rearrange this equation to find out the liquid limit corresponding to 4 uh, percent of pi value so for that purpose I need to rearrange the equation so equation will be 4 is the liquid uh, PA value divided by 0 0.73 
0.7373 bracket close plus 20 so this shows the value of liquid limit from this equation corresponding to pi value of 4 by just rearranging this equation because now i want to find out the liquid limit then the equation will be pi divided by 0.73 plus 20 similarly i'll drag this formula to this column now in the next step i need to find out the points of pi value uh, uh, points of liquid limit value corresponding to pi value 4 pi value or 7 pi value for u line so now again similarly liquid limit divided by 0 0.9 bracket bracket close plus 8 so now i need to draw these lines right click select data add <clears throat> along the x-axis i'll be selecting these two points for drawing first line along the y-axis i'll be selecting four value okay now you can see the line has been drawn now add another line similarly i'll be selecting these two points then along the y-axis I'll be selecting this value okay now you can see the lines is now exactly similar to this graph if you need to add these uh, text you can add as well by simply insert illustrations shapes now so you can write over here airline pi is equals to is equals to 0 0.73 liquid limit minus 20 and you can just turn off the outline for this text box and now you can see the text has been written exactly similar to this graph now uh, similarly you can add uh, other text values over here so this is how you can draw plasticity chart kaise grande plasticity chart in microsoft excel so if you like the video don't forget to subscribe share thank you and